Hello, this is Stefan with Warm Inside. Welcome. Well, I don't know if I had an idea as much as a customer gave me an idea. We were talking, or they were talking about the idea of a toy that was much like my fish toy, if you've ever looked at my items. Um, do I have one here? Yeah, we can see one right here. It's a fish toy, sells very well, um, right there. Um, obviously that's a glow one. There's a larger one in the middle, in the back there. Um, so yeah, a toy like that that I sell. and. They were also talking about the grinders that I sell, um, the tongue grinders, <clears throat> and how they would like something that was a combination of the two that could go into a strap. Sounds interesting. Um, they actually wanted me to modify the fish and, and go from that route. I'm not really big on that idea, but I am interested in the idea uh, let me see here, maybe just a single point. Yeah, there we go. In the idea of making something that is a strap on grinder piece. Um, particularly, I would be aiming this. Oops, darn it. I get where I want and then I mess it up because of the symmetry settings. Um, <coughs> What? No. Uh, okay, let's try this again. There we go. Um, what settings do I want? Try to think about this in, in a way that makes sense for what I want to do. I'm thinking about this in kind of a female toy context. I don't know if that's what they had in mind, but I would guess it doesn't really matter because that's what I'm going to do. And uh, if they turn out to like that, then awesome. If it's not exactly what they're looking for, I'm sure they will let me know. Or if I ever make it, I don't know. I play around with so many ideas that I never ever make. That is not at all going how I want. Let's go back. What the heck? There we go. No. This. Yes, that. X and Y symmetry. Pull that up further. Take the grab tool. Really bend it there. Let's see, this is X. No, I think I want Y. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Not really trying to make this thing look extra phallic or anything like that. I'm just trying to give it some surface area, a little bit of a curve. Because kind of what I'm I'm envisioning in my head is. Um, something that uses this large flat area on top. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Right there. Something that uses that large area to provide a grinding area. So I wind up with what I'm thinking of, I should say, not I wind up with something along that kind of pattern. One of these days. 
days I'll actually get good at being able to navigate, but <clears throat> for right now, that will work. Um, and then I had a thought that what if I took an image or start created a kind of a pattern, took this with my drawing, uh, sorry, new brush here, wood pattern, let's see what does that, what does that look like? Um, ooh, that actually is really weird. Uh, not what I was going for. So let's go back here. Too much strength and too big of a brush. Cool. That I can work with. Okay. Um, let's see. I was playing with this earlier and I kind of had something else completely happening. And so I am very confused, but that's okay. We'll get there. Sign. Or maybe was I using this? Nope. Sometimes you just got to play around and see what you get. I could freeform these, but I was hoping that I could use something a little bit different to add, add some texture. But it's not working like I really wanted. Um, is there anything else? No, there's nothing else I need to say. This is very different than the than what I got when I played earlier. Uh, about marble, can we marble? Yeah, marble's too much. I, I played with that too. Um, I was kind of trying to get some like lines that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. Is that something I could do something with? I don't think so. I think that that's too much. But let's see here. said if I pull that oh okay so a I think I figured out what was going on with the wood where it was working for me before and now it's not so let's go back and look yeah. and again it wasn't working exactly but it was working nope that's not it at all. And that is way too intense. Sometimes you just play with things and see what works and what doesn't. Sometimes nothing works and then you just throw it all away and start over. <laughs> I think the idea of the shape of the toy is right, but I want to figure out if there's a better way to get um, a texture. I was trying to play with some like UV map or some TIFF files to add texture maps like this um, but it didn't work. I don't know what I have wrong. Um, this one oh look at that. Oh okay. that is uh, not at all what I wanted. But, let's see here. I mean, I shouldn't say that. It's a lot what I wanted, but it is doing way too much of what I didn't want. Um, and that is, A, I don't want to distort the other side, which is great, but B, I didn't want it so kind of like digital. I was hoping something that would look nicer. So I'm going to scrap that idea. Um, and we 
we will try something else. We're going to go noise. Noise is not going to do it. You know what? Let's just see what it does. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just horrible, horrible. Um, yep, not going to like that. Pattern plastic. No. I don't even know what that actually is. So that's. something like that although we will wind up smoothing that out right so that kind of feel on the top and then come along times and, go, and decide eventually either it works or it doesn't and then on the other side this other side I wanted to do more of a uh, this is good here coming along here kind of more of a, a, a really decent grind and, and go from there Just not sure. Not sure at all.
What the heck? Three sixty, so one eighty. That's what I want. Trying to see here. Wonder. Hmm, none of 
that's working out quite like I want. Not working out like I had in my brain, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Thumb, mm, no grease. Let's do it on the X, not the X and Y. Sometimes you make things ugly so you can come back and make them pretty. Pretty! And sometimes you just make things ugly, but that's hopefully not what I did here. We will find out really quick, though. As I work on this design, bring it back into scope with what? <coughs> what I'm really hoping for. You know, a lot of this for me is almost uh, almost like a therapy, a peacefulness coming in, building something. Ooh, that's not, it's way too intense. Um, peacefulness, kind of building something, learning what I can do, seeing how I can make things. Ooh, that's not what I want. Doing a lot wrong, fixing it doing a lot wrong fixing it you know um, well I think it's, I, it's, it's one of those weird things for me it's something I really do enjoy <clears throat> I hope that it brings pleasure I hope that it brings you know a little bit of uh, fun into somebody's day when they don't have it otherwise right we've got so much going on in our world in our life and you know, I was raised with conservative values, and I still stick to a lot of those. But I also believe that there's some things that you just have to be able to do. So I can't tell you where that lies on the spectrum. I just know what works for me, and you know, I will deal with. I will try to make. The world is as good a place as I can in my years, and I will move on from there. So that's interesting. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, I'm worried that that's a little bit going to be a little too intense. Actually, you know what? If I <coughs> have a proper solution or an interesting idea there, this might be fixed by going into object mode yeah look at that there we go that's perfect that might be a little too far let's go bring it back up a little bit oops nope I only want that part actually I just moved a bunch of stuff that I didn't want to there we go I want to keep my center consistent. OK, 
Okay, so one thing that I do see here that I worry about is printing that. Huh. I worry about printing that and seeing that overhang there, or this right in here. I think it's not ideal. Doesn't mean it's gonna hurt, but let's just see if I can make it a little bit less. Less friendly for printing, in my mind. I am not a master printer. I have printed, <laughs> well, it's funny. I, uh, I have a bad habit of not throwing out print spools I have, so I have a this tower of print spools that I've done since I started 3D printing that go all the way to the ceiling, almost. I think it's probably another 10 spools before it's the ceiling, so not quite that high, but uh, it, it, it's funny in the idea that I don't consider myself, ooh, way too big. I have a huge printer, but <clears throat> if you were to look at my, my print number of yards printed I have printed enough stuff that I have a pretty good idea what my machines are capable of um, my Prusa MK3 my Mini my Mars actually this one hmm, I don't know I was going to say this one might be an interesting candidate for the Mars printing but <coughs> may not be actually if I think about it too because I worry about um, why would it not be Because I worry it might not have the scale. That's what I was going to say. Uh, I might. The Mars is a really an amazing printer for printing miniatures. It's freaking amazing for printing things like this. It's it is amazing. Except that I feel for me it's very hard to get the scale that I want. Um, I really would could use a much larger printer I mean I don't need huge like if you've looked at my store you know what I make most of my items are in the uh, 6 inch to 10 inch range right so it's not a huge difference but it is different and I would think that this is going to be right in that 6 inch range maybe a little bit longer once you figure in all the other stuff <coughs> If that's gnarly enough. That doesn't look really gnarly enough. Let's see here. I don't think that's gnarly enough there for getting the effect that I want. Let's bring that way in. Oops. big deal. We smooth it, we fix it, we smooth it, we fix it. In fact, I'm going to over smooth it a little more because I'm seeing some things that I like here when I come in here. Oh, let's just type it in. 25, what do you say? 25? Yeah, 25 is good. produce toys because I like making people happy and I that's why I do it like if I'm failing to do that then 
I really probably should quit. <laughs> but I don't think I am failing. I get good reviews. Um, I'm no major toy producer. I, you know, only sold a hundred or so or something like that. But, you know, whatever. I do it as a hobby. It's not how I pay my bills. Doesn't mean I don't want to be the best I can be. Wondering if I did this in like a dual density, like a firm on this end and maybe a 0050 on the other side, kind of a medium firmness. Wonder how that would turn out. This is weird. I get in like a gnarly, um, smooth in there. This is all smooth. And the rest of it's all kind of blocky. Let's bring the strength way down. Boy, that really is not doing what I want to do. <clears throat> feel like I was doing better before. Again, as I said, I do a lot of experimenting, seeing what looks good to my eye, and going from there. Um, and often, not exactly clear to me until I really absorb it and take a little time and look at what's going on. I 
wonder if I did that there and came along here. geometry to work with there. bit of symmetry and now I lost it. Oh well, we'll fix it.
coming in here reworking it sometimes I feel like I got really off <clears throat> and if so we see what we can do to fix it wow I can't get that to move there we go Yeah, that would be a problem. I don't know that we're going to be able to work on that too much. Oh, let's see. And this time now that I have a pretty good idea what I'm thinking of might be easier keyword might be Shrinky, 
shrinky shrinky huh okay oh I see what happened there we go that's what I was missing Remesh. Why not be meshy? There we go. That time it worked. Now I can get it smooth. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Wasn't turning smooth like I was wanting, so I knew something was wrong. Scrape it, scrape it, scrape it down. Okay. Bring it back around. Form it again. Let's see here. Like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Come in here. <coughs> okay, first of all, we want the lines on the one side. So, let's see. Rubby. Let's see, let's do one more line. An overlap in the middle gets me every time. Messes it up, but cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Nice, nice, that's what we got, okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna come in and we're gonna do some of these little circles. Let's see here. All this work and I'm thinking about it and what I have just created myself 
is a nightmare to cast. How to cast that. Interesting. Okay, well, that might be something I need to figure out later. Um, if it's even possible to cast it. Not sure that can be cast without an industrial design. Mm. Okay. So this again, this is meant to be all roughy. Rough here, scratchy. Kind of a low grade stimulation, kind of like a cat's tongue there. That's what I'm thinking. side is more aggressive kind of a bumpy feel Having a thought here about I wonder if I was to make this two different parts. to at the end just kind of bring them together so if I thin this out a lot and then bring it basically scrape that flat right there
what the heck? That scrape should be taking that off, not smearing it out as far as I'm concerned. And it's not doing at all what I expect. <laughs> uh, and it's deforming the other side a little bit. Interesting. Um, oh, because I'm not on scrape, I'm on flatten. Do that would explain it. There we go. That's what I wanted. So that's why I'm confused. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out this. It's been a while since I've done this. I almost feel like I'm doing something wrong. Cylinder one and cylinder two. So if we're on cylinder one, we want to make, no, we're on cylinder one, we want to make a difference union with that. 
with cylinder two. Okay, apply. Let's hide cylinder two. Did that work? Did we do what I wanted? Um, no, I did not. Interesting. Uh, add a modifier. Boolean. Well, that's not doing at all what I wanted. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder what I'm doing wrong. Guess I'll have to do some research on that. Okay. Well, that will work for now. Um, so let's see here. We now have basically two objects. We want to take these two. Join them, take these two, and join them. Good deal, good deal. We can now take this object, move it here, and take it and rotate it. what I want because they are different center points. Um, interesting. Actually, let me go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Back, back, back. Okay. I'm going to just leave it here. Save as... Wow, what happened? I lost my printers? Well, that just looks. That's okay. Original Prusa INKS Plus, the 4 millimeter nozzle. That works. What? Fine, whatever. 
Yay. Oh, I put the bar back in. Hmm. Didn't want that. Didn't see that. Because it's visible. I really need to figure out that Boolean. Um, but for now, we will just delete it. Control A, file, export. STL, export STL, should replace it. I think you can uh, reload from disk. There we go. Bring this cut. Yeah, right in the middle. Form cut. Yep, 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 yep. That one, and we want to rotate it down to that. Cool, cool, cool. And then we are going to take these. Can we do them both? Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one at 50 millimeters because that's what I like to do my stuff it, get the multiplier here, bring it to here, what? Lay those out. kind of give me what I'm looking for and now I can print them out and play with them and I can tell you already it's not gonna work but that's okay I will print them out anyways because if I take this up to six inches which is where I'm gonna probably print that that ring is gonna be way too thick. Um, let's see if I can figure out what that is. It is 0.46. When you put it with the other one, it's going to be a one inch ring. That's way too much. Way, way, way too much. So if we were to, let's see. That is half an inch. We want it more like 0.25. I get lower rid of that. There we go. Bring this. Yeah, see, we just lost a quarter inch. That's okay. Um, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We need to go back because I need to know what the multiplier is so that the rings stay consistent. Kind of set myself up for trouble here, but I'm just kind of getting an idea real quick. Um, I'm trying to remember, yeah, I've got PLA on my printer right now, so I should keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, back to what I was doing with the cut. I want to cut this 0.25, do that, cut this one the same 0.25 maybe that might not leave anything there so that's not gonna work we need a little bit of a ring just to match them up perform cut there we go okay okay so now we have this one's 0.7 inches this one's five so I'm gonna wind up at what 6.5 inches total between the two of them. I can live with that. Line them out. I am going to print it at a low quality here. Draft for this. I do really low in fill. Mm -hmm. Yep. And let's slice it up. Ooh, yeah, baby. 
that's going to be concerning, but we'll fix it later. I can fix that up. Maybe, uh, I don't know, that might be a good design for... I did have this, or I thought I did. Feel like something's broken here. Hmm. I thought I had all this set up for uh, the Prusa Slice. Oh, that's my other machine. That's what's going on. I switched machines. I don't know. I was talking about this earlier. I uh, usually use a Windows machine or sorry, uh, Mac, but my Windows machine is a gaming rig, so had a lot more power. Um, cool, I'll print that out, get some information, and go from there. And that's just kind of a play session. That's that's what I do when I'm bored, and it's better than watching TV, I think. So take care, have a wonderful day. Um, hopefully I can add some print to this and see what's going down.